So here's one example of a song scroll. Now I did it for my favorite worship hymn, Oceans Where Feet May Fall. And I just have it anchored on this little wooden candlestick um, just because I wanted it propped up and sort of on display. But you can easily just let it sit somewhere like this. And it's very durable. This this was done on the Japanese rice paper and it, it's a very durable paper. And once you paint on it and you get some medium on it, because I did collage, it, it's even more durable. And as you can see, I just wound it together and used a piece of hemp that I had for a jewelry project. Just an old button. I sewed it right on there. Um, so it's real easy and it hasn't ripped apart or anything because the rice paper is really strong. Okay, so this is the outside of the scroll. I put the collage the name and collage the, um, you know, the subtitle on the outside. And then, um, as you can see, I try to make it look like ocean waves. That's what the blues and the whites are. And it's a little stylized for sure. Those little dots and things kind of look like um, water splashes. So there's almost 40 inches of this particular scroll. And as you can see, it doesn't have to be very neat when you do sort of an abstract thing like this. You get the idea of the waves and the color variations, but you um, just don't have to do it exactly. Okay, so now I'm going to flip it over. And I painted the same thing on the other side. Um, I actually had collage some blue paper underneath so that you can see some of those different colors. And then I um, printed out some of the lyrics of the song and collaged it onto this. There you go. I'm trying to make it. There you go. I've shown you my song scroll. I'm going to show you and actually work on um, collaging and putting some paper on another scroll strip so that you can see the process. And you can see that I've got on my table some dried tea bags. I tend to save my tea bags just because they have such a great texture and color. And then, you know, the dried tea has different intensities and that just looks so organic, whether I'm doing a collage or I'm doing some other project. Here's a smaller one. So after I let the tea bag dry on the counter for a day, I just um, open it up, dump out the tea grounds and then I'm um, just let it dry and I don't have to do anything else to it but look at you can see these just natural organic lines and that looks so good in a piece of artwork one of the rice paper strips or scrolls looks before it's painted on now I'm going to hold this up to the camera hopefully you can see it it takes the camera a second to re-focus. Um, this is the shiny side. I don't know, I'm kind of tilting it a little bit. I hope you can kind of see the shine on that side of the paper. And I'm going to flip it over. And this is the side that you usually do the watercolor and painting on. So can you see how that's just flat and matte? This side is shiny. It's kind of hard to see, but you can really feel the difference. You know, the, the shiny back is a slick feel, and this has a rough tooth to it. So this is actually, you know, another 40 inch strip of paper. And one, um, what I usually do is I pull out 
<laughs> the um, 40 inches on the rice paper roll and then I divide it into like little two inch um, strips and it, it really it, you can tear it because it tears real easy or cut it what I like to do is fold it and then tear along the fold line so you can see it's like an inch and a half okay So let me scroll this back up and get it out of the way. We might do something with that later. But I will tell you that I'm not going to do like a full tutorial on creating these strips. I'm assuming that you've done some mixed media before. And um, eventually, like over the weekend, I'm going to get a full tutorial into my free classroom portion of the classroom. And in that one, I'll do like, you know, a full scroll from start to finish. But for these, I'm just going to do, um, for your demonstration, I'm just going to do a short little bit and let you see. Okay, so here is a scroll that I've actually already collaged the um, tea bags on. So look at that beautiful variation in the brown. I just love how that looks. So I'm just giving you a little glimpse. And also when the um, paper comes off the rice paper roll, it's got a natural bend in it. And you could bend it the other way, but when I roll it up in a scroll, I just use the natural bend. And um, so always, this part of the bend, this side of the bend, is always the tooth. That's the way they cut. it comes from the manufacturer. The, the slick side is on the outside and of the way the bend is, and the tooth is on the inside. Now, when you do like a collage, a collage of paper all the way across the roll, it really doesn't matter which side you use. Um, and the rice paper is so th thin yet strong that there is um, transparency from the front to the back. So um, I think I may, yes. So I, I actually put the tea bags on the back side. And this is just, um, this, it's the toothy side. And this is the slick side. And when you um, do collage and you glue the paper onto the slick side, it adheres. But um, watercolor will not adhere on the slick side. Acrylic paint will, but it might flake off a little bit. I've never had it happen because I've never painted on the slick side. I always just collage it or I leave it blank and let whatever I paint on the toothy side show through. Okay, so I'm going to show you the glue I use. So this is the glue that I always use. It's actually gel medium and I like using matte gel because when I um, use this to go over the top of a collage element, I don't want it to be shiny. I like the matte finish much better than the shiny finish. Um, when I varnish an art piece, I usually use semi-gloss because I just don't like the high gloss finish at all. Okay, so I wanted to show you that I printed out the um, Psalm 27 and I've cut out the lines of the verses I'm going to use. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to collage the words down the center. Now, I've tested it out, like maybe doing three lines, and I just don't think it looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it across the middle. And then if I run out of room and I still have some um, words of the verses that I want to use, I'm going to flip it over. But I really won't know that until I get to the end. So I want to tell you too that um, you can use a glue stick just to sort of um, audition your collage 
uh, words or whatever you're planning on collaging. That way it's easy to remove and but it also stays in place if you need to um, you know move over a long stretch like this is. So it can be a little bit challenging to do these scrolls. I learned this from um, Crystal Marie. She's a collage artist and she in one of her classes she showed how you can collage all the way to the edges or glue all the way to the edges of your paper without making a big mess. So this is just an old magazine and, um, and what you do and I'll show you so I'm going to put my glue up here, my gel medium. Okay, so this is the very first part of verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So you can just like lay down the collage paper that you're going to be using. And so you don't have to worry about being careful with the glue when you use an old magazine. Okay. So I might have to move this up a little bit. Let me see. Okay. And then just start gluing it down. I'm going to leave a couple inches from the edge because I might do something with that. I don't know. You know, this is definitely partly an intuitive process. I didn't get enough glue on that, so I can tell it's going to lift up. So I'm going to glue that down. I'm take my next piece. Uh, make sure I get the right one. And then, like the thing is, is when you use uh, old magazine like this, if you're not careful where you put down your collage paper, you might get glue on um, or the gel medium in this case on the front side and that's okay as long as it dries before something touches it and uh, the gel medium gives a protective barrier so I'm going to go over the top of it anyway it's a waterproof protective barrier and it dries transparent so I love using this. It's worth a little bit more money to buy that than just regular some sort of school glue. And school glue just doesn't adhere as well as gel medium does. So there's my next line. So that you can go through that pretty easily. Now I'm going to fast forward as I do this because you know it's going to be kind of boring sitting here watching me glue my strips of paper down. But at the same time, like, so this is something you could do while you're watching TV with your family in the evening, or you know it can be um, something you do while you listen to a good Bible teaching or even worship music and that makes it more of an act of worship. Oop. Darn it. I picked up the wrong one. But that's okay. I just laid it face down and um, so I use it. I've got two columns of those strips of Bible verse and I just picked up the wrong column. And one thing though is even when you're using a brush and using the magazine it's really easy to get gel medium on your fingers and so I always I have an old rag that I keep around that I wipe my fingers on. This, you can tell well used. <laughs> and when it gets to the point where I can't stand using it anymore I can just throw it away. Okay. But 
me make sure I'm not mixing up my verses. That's the other thing. I, I'm not using every verse, but I want to use them in order. Oops. And you notice I'm moving all around the magazine. Just I wouldn't have to because I'm actually putting glue on top. But it's a habit that I try not to use the same spot. Sometimes when I'm doing like a daily collage, I turn the pages so I don't want to put um, glue on top at all. keep having to check my Bible and see what comes next. It's a bad thing when you cut everything up, but it, it's actually, I think it takes less time if you cut it all up and then, you know, kind of lay it down in a place that it won't get disturbed, but still I have to double check to, because I wouldn't want to put it in the wrong order. That would just be a mess to get back up. You can get these back up if you do make a mess. You just, um, actually the gel medium makes it a little bit waterproof, like I was saying. So if you get a piece of paper somewhere or some words that you don't like it there, you can really just get the paper wet and get a rag or um, a paper towel and rub the paper off. Um, and it's fine. You won't destroy the substrate at all. That's the beauty of doing gel medium for um, all your collage work. That I meant well. All right. I'm going to put on some music and fast forward now. out perfectly. I wanted to not end in the middle of a verse and that's the end of a verse. And so I'm going to turn it over and put a couple verses on the back side, but I'm going to have to wait for it to dry. So while it's drying, I'm just going to tear that top paper off, throw it away, and then I've got fresh paper for the next round of collage work. Okay, we are back because all of this has dried. It only took about, I don't know, 45 minutes to dry. See, I can touch that. And I'm kind of rounding my hands to make sure I've got all the corners down. And I'm going to turn this over now, and we're going to start gluing on the other side.
Okay, now that's the last of the verses. And, um, like I had the title of the song on my ocean scroll. I'm going to put the uh, little heading from the Psalm 27 kind of as a um, like a title, a label on the outside of the scroll. And it depends on how big your scroll is, but I measured by ocean scroll and it had started about an inch and a half from the edge and so that's what I'm doing with my finger. Did you know that your knuckle to knuckle is about an inch usually in the average sized person's hand? So that's actually almost two inches right there but um so that's a little trick I learned in sewing years ago when my mom was teaching me how to sew. That stuck really fast. I'm trying to move it. And then I, I'm going to center the Psalm 27 there. I'm going to just eyeball it, center it. Now we're going to let that dry and we're not done yet. We have to put the button on but I'm also thinking as I've been working on it of putting some white um, embellishment, some line work alongside of it. So after this dries we'll work on adding some embellishments. So I will pause this and see you in 45 minutes. <laughs> 